Uh, okay, taking sonar is interesting, right? Why? Why do they have to, the government gives SOMA, it's, it's legal to take so, SOMA, right? Why? Why do the government give SOMA to, to its people? What do you think? Why? It leads to more consumption. It's a way of governing people, mm -hmm. right? And conditioning is also a, uh, the way that they govern the people, condition. And it's interesting, instead of using education, the word educating, they use conditioning. conditioning. Uh, civilization is what? Civilization is civilization. And there's an interesting uh, word. Civilization, civilization is sterilization. You see, uh, when, when they talk about the, uh, the, uh, the savage celebration, right? is kind of a uh, coming of age celebration at the reservations, right? Weeping the child, right? And John wants to be the one who gets the whipping, right? It's, it's kind of... Uh, and the... Uh, uh, six, chapter 7 is also interesting, right? Uh, Do you like the description of uh, uh, Linda? She, she is repulsive according to the description. To Linia, she's a savage, right? But uh, she was conditioned actually by the circumstance, right? She, would, she lived there and she became a savage. And uh, strangely, strangely, Bernard find something interesting in it, very good in their lifestyle. You remember the part? Huh? You don't remember? Okay, we'll go get back to the uh, description. And in chapter 6, what is most interesting? Still, uh, there are very uh, interesting parts here. Chapter 6. Uh, it, it has three parts, right? Ch chapter, uh, part one is about what? Chapter one, odd, odd, odd. All of them are in italics. Odd, odd, odd was Linnaeus' verdict on Bernard Max. This is very imp uh, important beginning. Odd, odd, odd. Third art is in the Gothic. Odd, 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 for empathy, right? So, uh, do you think uh, Bernard is actually very odd? From the point of uh, the readers who live in uh, uh, 21st century, what do you think? Is he a savage? What do you think? Bernard is savage here? Yes, from the perspective of novel, the narrator, he is, uh, he is not uh, used to, he is uh, a kind of very uh, strange stranger. He, is, right? he looks like a stranger in, this, in society, right? But he is very much like us. So he is savage, right? All of us are savage according to uh, Linnea. We are savage. We refuse to take, uh, take part in the Orgies, sex parties, right? We do not want to take uh, more than one partner. That's savage, according to Lina's point of view. Very interesting, right? <laughs> okay. Ah, 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 was uh, Lina's verdict on Bernard Marx. So odd, indeed, that in the course of the succeeding weeks, she had wondered more than once whether she shouldn't change the mind about the New Mexico holiday. <clears throat> and go instead to the North Pole with Benito Hugo. So changing partners is no problem for Linnea, right? Here, right? She could go to the, uh, to, uh, to the North Pole with Hugo instead of, uh, instead, instead of Bernard. It's interesting, right? Uh, and uh, uh, on page 88, 
the first paragraph, the last sentence. And yet, so unique was also, uh, was Bernard's oddness that she had, she had hesitated to take it, had actually thought of whisking the pole again with funny old Benito. At least Benito was normal, whereas Bernard. So it's interesting. Benito is normal. Right? It, it, uh, he is uh, part of society. But Bernard is different, right? He, and mostly it's about uh, Bernard's being very different, very unique in this chapter, right? In, this, uh, in these three chapters. Uh, third, third, third paragraph, there is a very interesting uh, sentence. You can teach a rhinoceros tricks. Interesting, right? Uh, you can take, uh, take a dog at beats, right? But uh, in, in this sentence, he had explained in brief and vigorous style, some men are almost rhinoceros. Uh, they don't respond properly to conditioning, right? Bernard was, uh, by mistake, uh, a local added to it. And he, he is different, right? Last paragraph, pretty harmless perhaps, but also pretty disquieting. That many have to start with for doing things in private. This one, this is a difference. You have to do everything in public, right? You are part of the cell of society, the, the cell, a cell of society. And you shouldn't be in private, all right? You should be in uh, public, all right? But he, uh, Bernard wants to do everything in private. And also on page 89, there is a mention of the Lake District. Lake District? What words? So, so actually, Huxley, Aldous Huxley knows all the points. Yeah. Uh, the H uh, uh, is one, and worse words is another, and other poets also. Maybe uh, so. Uh, third paragraph, page 89. Apparently, for going on walks in the Lake District, for that was what he now proposed. Land on the top of uh, Skido and walk for a couple hours in, in the Hatha, along with you, Linia. So Linia finds it very clear. Why do we go to go there, go there and take a walk in the Lake District? It's, it's very, it's very unique, uh, uh, queer, right? Talking, uh, but and Bernard blushed and looked away. I meant alone for talking. He mumbled. Talking. <laughs> Bernard blushed and looked away. What does it mean? Bernard knows the fact that it's not normal. Right? It, is, it, is, it is not normal for him to take a walk there with a the girl alone. Right? So he, uh, Bernard, brushed and looked away. I meant alone for talking. He mumbled. And he said, mumbled, right? Talking? But what about? Walking, talking? That seemed a very odd way of spending an afternoon. But this is what what is very normal for, for us, right? For us, right? In the end, she persuaded him, much against his will, to fly over to Amsterdam to see the semi demi finals of the Women's Heavyweight Russian Championship. And I think he took the one of the Soma, right? And for page 89, Oh, for for sake, be quiet. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, the uh, on the same page, the last paragraph. But I do insist. It makes me feel as though he hesitated, searching for words with which to express himself, as though I were more me. If you see what I mean, more on my own, not so completely a part of something else, something else, part of society. Not just the cell in the society, in the body, social body. Doesn't it make you feel like that, Linia? No, Linia is different, right? She is, she is a very normal person in this society. But Linia was crying. This horrible is horrible. She kept repeating. But how can you talk like that about not wanting to be a part of the society body, social body? 
After all, everyone works for everyone else. Everybody else, right? Everyone works for everyone else. We can't do without anyone. Even excellence is interesting. And uh, repeatedly, repeatedly, Linia says this. I'm glad that I'm not Epsilon, right? She repeated that. What does it mean, right? <laughs> is, is it democratic idea? No, not democratic, right? So, <clears throat> uh, and uh, also, one, two, three, four, fourth paragraph, the last sentence. Uh, how is it that I can't, or rather, because of all, I know quite well why I can't, what would it be like if I could, if I were free, not enslaved by my conditioning? But Bernard, you are saying the most awful things. So, he is to be banished to where? Iceland. Iceland, right? <laughs> uh, so. And uh, uh, Lina is complaining, uh, there's nothing but the sea, what, right? Uh, the last, page 91, the last uh, paragraph. I thought you'd be more, more together here with nothing but the sea and more, more together than in the crowd or even in, the, in my rooms. Do you understand that? She, she can't understand it, <laughs> right? Next page. I don't understand anything, she said, with decision, determined to perceive uh, a comprehension in fact, nothing least of all, she continued in another tone, why don't you take Soma? <laughs> why don't you take Soma? Uh, Soma is a kind of metaphor, right? Not, not the actual thing. Here in, in this story, Soma is uh, to enjoy oneself. They take it. But uh, they, they, if they face something horrible, they take it. So, avoiding being what? Responsible, irresponsible, irresponsibility, right? Soma, Soma. And Soma is a kind of, a, a, a means for the government to control the people, Soma, right? The, there is a congregation, right? They go to a church, they, uh, it's a, a, a sex party, orgy, and uh, they, Say, O oh Lord, O oh Ford, O oh Ford, right? we are one, and they are shouting, but uh, it's very interesting, right? But then Ford is all right again, and, uh, uh, and uh, Bernard is going, is going to agree uh, with her, and she said, then Ford, she said to herself, he is, he is all right again. <laughs> it's funny, right? And, and swallowed. And half an hour later, they were back in, the, in his room, but now swallowed four tablets of Soma at the club. club. He's angry, and he's taking Soma, right? Uh, four tablets. Turned on the radio, and television began to undress. Very interesting. Uh, okay. And part two, what is taking place in part two? Uh, it's a conversation between uh, the director and Bernard, right? And, uh, okay, uh, part three. The journey was quite uneventful, and the Blue Pacific rock, uh, Rocket was two and a half minutes uh, early at New Orleans. It's very interesting. It's science fiction, and uh, time is very important element, right? Uh, we, we usually, uh, we, we are late uh, 10 minutes or five minutes, I'm sorry, I'm 10 minutes, right? Or 30 minutes. Even in Korea, we, we, uh, we are late one hour, <laughs> and, but that's fine. But uh, in the United States, if you're late uh, for 30 minutes, what happens? <laughs> but here, how late are they? They are late to what? Two and a half minutes, <laughs> right? Uh, and uh, uh, less than 40 seconds behind scheduled time. 
40 seconds behind schedule time. It's interesting, right? Time, right? I'm, I'm two minutes late, sorry. <laughs> or I'm 30 minutes late, sorry. And the people who live here would say, I, I'm sorry, one minute late, or 30 seconds late. <laughs> Do you find this? Isn't it funny, right? And also, uh, they, they arrived at Santa Fe, Santa Fe. Uh, they stay there overnight before they go to the uh, reservation, reservation, and uh, they have everything here, right? Everything here. For example, page 10, uh, second row, right in the middle. Uh, okay, uh, one, two, three, uh, second row. Liquid air, liquid air, television, vibro vacuum, massage, radio, boiling caffeine solution, hot contraceptives. They need it, right? Uh, officially, they should, they should uh, take this kind of uh, precautions. Hot contraceptives and eight different kinds of scents were laid, laid on in every bedroom. The synthetic music plan was working as they entered the hall and left nothing to be desired. So perfect, right, according to them. Uh, and uh, next, uh, I'll skip one paragraph, one other. Uh, there won't be any in the reservation, but not one there. And no scent, no television, no hot water even. If you felt you can't stand it, just stay here till I come back. And she insisted on coming with him. Okay. Uh, and on page uh, 101, uh, one, one, two, three, fourth paragraph. At this moment, for no apparent reason, Bernard certainly remember that he had left the eau de cologne tap in his bathroom wide open running. <laughs> it's very costly. He, he opened it, he uh, uh, left it open by mistake, and he has to pay a lot of money. So he is, he is very, and, and the, uh, the, the guy uh, is uh, introducing, making an introduction to the reservations and over, a, it takes a long time and he was very, uh, he, he was thinking about the Cologne, right? The old Cologne, right? Uh, so the situation is also very funny on page, Uh, page uh, 102, the last paragraph, six, time, six times 24, oh, no, no, it would be nearer six times uh, 36. Bernard was pale and trembling with impatience, but inexorably the booming continued. So he is worried about the, the Cologne, right? Uh, 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 you find a lot of uh, interesting words here. Uh, uh, octoroon, do you know the word, term, octoroon? A person with one eighth blood. He is a black, but only one eighth, right, one eighth black. So he, he's almost white, but... Uh, uh, okay. Okay, uh, chapter seven. Uh, what is interesting here? What, what do you find? Yeah. What do you find is inter interesting here? The Mesa was like a ship, becalmed in a straight of lion colored dust. So uh, there is the introduction to what? The ceremony, coming of age ceremony of, of, of a child, right? Uh, and before that, uh, Linia, uh, uh encounters in the very old woman, old man, very old man, and uh, he is he is very ugly and terrible. And there is compassion between this man and the other man in his own society, right? Why, what people, why uh, do the people 
aged slowly, slower than this, this guy. Why? There is an introduction of, a, a mention of a factory. Factory, what is it? Secretion or something like that. Right, what? Because of that. It's a big factory and everyone takes some kind of uh, medicine and the uh, and slowing of the aging happens, right? You, you stop growing old. So there is difference between the old man in this society and the man in this uh, reservation. They are different, right? But uh, what is interesting is that the old man is, uh, in every respect, is terrible except what? The eye. The eye is brilliant. The old man, bright. So, is so what, is, what, what does the, uh, what does uh, all those actually want to say? Aging is quite natural. Right. Even though he is old, he is very uh, bright. Right? Spirit does not deteriorate as it uh, gets old, as he gets old. This may be what uh, the novels want to say here, right? So, uh, page 109, the second from bottom. She liked even less what awaited her at the entrance to, to the Pueblo, where the guide had left them while he went inside for instructions. The dirt to be stuck to start with, the piles of rubbish, and dust, dogs, the flies. Her face wrinkled up into a grimace of disgust. She held a handkerchief to her nose. So you can you can make a comparison between uh, this Lydia uh, with uh, less developed countries, for example, Africa in the forest. Africa. And also, it's interesting, the, the uh, novelist, novelist, Aldous Huxley talks about Iceland or North Arctic Pole. They are less developed. They do not have all the uh, facilities they have here in London. Right? So, so, but how can they live like this? What do you think? How can they live like, live like this. She broke out in a voice of indignant incredulity. It wasn't impossible. I like, I like that in, in uh, parenthesis. It was impossible. Don't you like the style? Fantastic, right? right? Huxley put it in the parent, uh, parenthesis. But not shrugged his shoulders, and look, Bernard is great. Bernard shrugged his shoulders philosophically, the word philosophically, philosophically, right? Philosophically. Anyhow, he said, uh, they've been doing it for the last five or 6,000 years, so I suppose they must be used to it by now. It's interesting. Thousands of years they, 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 they got used to it, and we, we did, we have been, Right? So, but cleanliness is next to for, fordliness. Interesting. Fordliness. Ford. They live in an age of Ford, right? Fordliness. She said, yes. And civilization and sterilization, but not went on. Sterilization. What do you think? Sure. Do you know that in the uh, 18th century, uh, they uh, invented uh, what? Perfume. Why? Why did they use perfume? Chat, do you remember? In Paris, they used perfume. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, women uh, wore a skirt, right? Skirt. And uh, when they, uh, when the nature calls, they do it on the street, standing. Right? <laughs> so. <laughs> So, <laughs> we are very, uh, very sensitive to uh, 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 smells now, right? But in the 18th century on the street, they are uh, ladies, right? they did, they are ladies, and they, 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 uh, they, they did it, standing. 
<laughs> Do you understand? They urinate. They urinate. <laughs> so, uh, civilization is a sterilization, sterilization. But not one tone, concluding on a tone of irony, the second, uh, him not pretty glass in elementary housing, but these people have never heard of our Ford, and they are uncivilized, they are uncivilized. So there's no point in, so what do you mean by civilizing, people civilizing, people being civilized? What is the uh, meaning of civilization? The way people live, animals live, right? So, and uh, we live in an age of uh, machine. Right? We, uh, we drive cars, we uh, drive planes. Um, but actually, I think it's uh, quite natural for us to live like uh, animals. Dietrich Lawrence also emphasized it, right? They had sex, and uh, at the climax, they used like animal. You remember? Both of them had sex in, in, the, in the pouring rain, and it concludes with uh, like, like animal. It, it, it's a celebration of being wild, being normal. Okay, and uh, uh, on page one of the 110 from bottom, she's like, ah, old? She repeated, but the director's old, lots of people are old, but they are not like that. Why? They use the uh, medicine. There is a big factory creating secretion, some kind of uh, hormone, right? Uh, they keep their internal secretions artificially balanced at the useful equilibrium. Right. Uh, we don't permit the uh, magnesium calcium ratio to fall below what it, is at, it was at 30. We give them transfusion of young blood. Transfusion of young blood. Do you know that? Jung Ji Young? Uh, he was very uh, old and uh, he got the transfusion. He changed his blood. He, his, he had his chain, blood changed, but he died. He was a very rich man, and he could, uh, uh, his old blood uh, changed, but uh, eventually died, right? Uh, and the third paragraph, one, two, three, but it's terrible, Lina whispered, it's awful. We ought not to have come here. She felt in a, in a pocket for her soma. She felt for her soma but she left it, and she has to undergo all the ordeals here without taking Soma. If you take Soma, what happens? Reality, you cannot feel, you cannot experience reality. You experience <coughs> Soma, right? Uh, so, last paragraph. Lina was left to face the horrible horrors of uh, Malpes, <coughs> unaided, they, they came along, crowding on, on her thick and The speckle of two young women giving breath to their babies made, uh, made a blush and turn, her, turn away her face. So it's quite natural. Women feeding their babies from a breast. With, but uh, it's, it's abnormal in this society. Right? So she had never seen anything so indecent in life. <laughs> it's funny. Towards his cunning, right? Uh, she has never seen anything so in this in her life. And what made it worse was that instead of tactfully ignoring Bernard, proceed to make open comments on this revolting, by uh, uh, by viprous scene, a shame now that the effects of some had one off of the weakness he had dis uh, dis displayed that morning in the ho uh, hotel. He went out of his way to show himself strong and unorthodox. And uh, this is a very important comment made by Bernard. Very important comment. What a wonderfully intimate relationship. So actually, Bernard is the hero in this novel. Right, Bernard. What a wonderfully intimate relationship. 
uh, which is which is horrible sin for for linear. He said they live free of pleasures, and what an intensity of feeling it must generate. I often think one may have missed something in not having had a maid mother, and perhaps you've missed something in not being a mother. Linia imagined yourself sitting there with a little boy of your own. Bernard, how can you? <laughs> right? She's angry. The past is an old woman with their ophthalmia uh, is disease. A disease of the skin is her from her indignation. Just go away, he bet. I don't like it. Uh, and uh, there is a scene of the uh, ceremony, uh, coming of age ceremony uh, from where? Oh, from page 113 to uh, 117. It's interesting, right? It's like the ceremony performed in Africa, in, in an African forest. Uh, and uh, John envies it, envies the man who is whipped, who has been whipped, right? Okay, and uh, page 122, uh, last paragraph, last sentence, uh, almost the last, uh, okay, in the middle, but I never could make him understand that that was what civilized people ought to do, being mass infection, I believe, anyhow. John seems to have caught it from the Indians because, of course, he was with them a lot, even though they always were so busy to him, wouldn't let him do all the things the other boys do. So, uh, John is a stranger, and they uh, do not allow him to do the, all the things the other boys do. So, so he is different, right? So, uh, though they've no idea how difficult that is, okay. There's so much one doesn't know. It wasn't uh, snow, indeed. But so I'll ask you while the helicopter works or what made the world, well, what are you to answer if you are beta, 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 what kind of person is beta? The woman? The only thing she could do is what? To take care of the things in the uh, fertilizing world, right? So, epsilon, they stand at the uh, elevator door or things like that. So, what does this mean? All kinds of people, uh, uh, five different kinds of people, five castes. Each caste is assigned to do something. So, they what? What does it mean? They are part of a machine. They are cell of a society. Okay? Okay. Uh, uh, so much for today. The assignment is uh, four, four chapters, right? Uh, three chapters.